people speak Portuguese, they say not beat, but beach. He spent in his entire life working for this, and then when you finally get there, you only get a bronze medal? Blade favorite, Strat. On Mirage. Mirage B. It is the final media day before we breach the playoff threshold, which ultimately means that not many teams are left. In fact, some of the teams that came here to begin with are no longer with us. They out. You're done. You're dusted. You're probably already at the airport. You probably never see this. But in doing media day, we have this awesome series. It's called The Lobby. So today, James Banks and myself will be walking around and talking to anybody and anybody, anybody and everybody even, that we can find. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get it started. So today being media day, we get the chance to talk to just about everybody. Well, just about everybody that's left at least. And in this notion, I'm talking to a lot of the playoff teams. I'm pretty sure talking to big has got to be on the list somewhere in there. They go up against Vitality. So perhaps we see what they're up to today. Maybe we can catch them as they get off the shuttle. You know what I mean? What's up, Gob? How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Uh, kind of tired, uh, as you can imagine. Things happen. What's up, dude? Yeah, what happened exactly was Neymar. Well, you know, I had to go show him how to play a little bit of the, the footy and a little bit of the Counter-Strike. No, I was invited, and I felt like if I didn't go, I would regret it. Yeah, so I just, yeah. we go into Neymar's house. It's that simple. I really don't even have to spell that one out. But, yeah, crazy, you know, crazy. We played 5v5 on land last night. No, really? A bunch, like a whole lot. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the house, I wouldn't begin to describe it. It's his house. You guys can look that up on your own time. Let's go for a walk, shall we? I mean, I like hanging out outside, but it's kind of sunny today. It's not really our vibe, you know? We, uh, we go out a little bit now, and then later the practice. Ah, yeah. just because the weather's nice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. It was raining the, yesterday yep. and stuff like that, so you have to enjoy the weather here. Oh, you absolutely do. It's just beautiful. So you guys have Vitality coming up. Pretty fun, pretty exciting. You know, uh, the French-German rivalry. I'm just going to make that up on the spot. I guess it's a real thing. Gob, uh, what does that look like for you on these days when you got to go get ready for another match? Uh, I wake up pretty early at 7 or so. Yeah. Then I go to the practice room. I look up our games. I look up the games or the maps we play against the opponent. And then I think of how can we beat them while watching their games. Uh, then telling my analyst to look up maybe some stuff, what I want to abuse. Or like if my read is correct, like he double checks it. And then uh, doing some media stuff, yeah. chilling a little bit, and then go practice with the team later. Do you ever think that since God B's around, do you ever think, man, I'm just learning something standing here. Like, we're just standing here, I'm learning something right now, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like, when we were preparing for Navi yesterday, we were coming to the practice room, he was there and like, eh, you have to learn this smoke, this Molotov, this flash. If you fail it, I'm going to leave. I'm just going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get, I'm going to get a red card from referee, I'm just going to leave. I want to watch a game with my cameraman. Das ist nicht gut. Yeah, Not right? good. Yeah. <laughs> so we glad we didn't fail it. He was, I think it was close yeah. to that he's leaving. But yeah, it's like <laughs> sometimes the ideas are crazy, but it's uh, it's insane. Like, what what would you say the vibe is in the camp? Are you guys having fun? You know, I know we're about winning here. This is a competition at the end of the day. But is there fun being had, Gob? Are you having fun? Yeah, I have a lot of fun. Um, even if we are losing, it feels still it makes some fun, you know, like, I mean, I like to win. It's more fun to win, but it's like still the I enjoy the work. I enjoy, I enjoy the work with the team. So um, this is a good sign. Now, if the winning comes along, uh, I will take it any, any time. But at the moment, we have a good chemistry. We have a good team vibe. Um, it's definitely not um, we are not losing because of that. Um, we are losing because of experience and um, also sometimes pressure. So yeah. we need to tell ourselves this needs some time. But we're doing kind of great in ca uh, case of that we are putting the hours in and um, having a good vibe. Doing the work. Yeah. And then you've got to go play in front of this big, big arena, uh, Jeunesse, I think it's called. Uh, so does that make you a little like, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? Uh. I mean, I think the hardest thing was last year, a major, with FURIA, the 2-0 game, it was, it was crazy. Like, yeah. you were playing the, the round, the round starts, the, everything below you is shaking, the whole stage yeah. is shaking, they are sh uh, chanting and stuff like that. So, yeah, I was really enjoying this experience, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. But I don't think it's, I think I, 
won't be that may, probably nervous and stuff like that, like mm -hmm. I've been last year l playing my first game in Dallas or the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the I mean the first, the second stage game versus Furia in front of the crowd. So um, yeah, it's going to be great. So other than you know playing in front of a thousand people yelling at you, and you know sometimes they're not nice. I'll be honest, sometimes it's just not nice, and that goes throughout the entirety of the planet. Like it's not just Brazilian crowds. Who does it better? Here, the crowd in Brazil or in Cologne? I'm looking at you, Gob. Um, the, no pressure, 7 1 doesn't count here. No, I mean, I, I thought about that. Like, I tried to explain it in an objective way that I, you know, like, I'm not German. I just be the guy who's judging it, mm -hmm. like the crowds. But to be honest, I cannot because I will always lean to Cologne. Because, yeah, because I cannot be objective in this. So yeah. um, that's why I would say Cologne. But if you make like uh, a voice counter also like the, uh, how loud is it? Oh, uh, like decibel yeah, meter, yeah. It is, um, then y I think they might win. But if we make it in this year, I think Cologne could win. Like who's the louder crowd? Well, but who's crazier? I think like in the, you see stuff you don't see anywhere. I think it's the Brazilian guys. Yes. Have you guys ever heard the same chant for about 12 days straight? Because I have. Last time for the major. It sticks, you know, it's there. I'll be doing lawn work at home, and I'm like, ba 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 I'm like, wait, what am I doing? Yeah. Uh, nonetheless, so, favorite part of Brazil, go. Mm, Copacabana. Okay, some people say Caprinhas. This one's better than that one. Uh, Cap Caprina, Capriana, Caprina, ah, it's, uh, it's a drink. Uh, drink. Yeah. Uh, Caprinha. Cap Caprinha, yeah. yeah. Ah. I butchered that real bad, sorry. Uh, what's your favorite part of Brazil? Uh, the weather, to be honest, I think, uh, and the people. I think um, they're always very, very friendly outside of when they are uh, cheering for the other team, but they are very friendly outside when we meet them. The fans no. are very respectful, like outside of the, I, I, I call it the situation. <laughs> um, so I would say the weather and the fans. Yeah. And I have to agree. So uh, perhaps we enjoy some of that. I appreciate you, gentlemen. Thank uh, Adios. Cool. So that was Big Clan, and as you can imagine, they've got the work cut out for them. They're going to be taking on Vitality when they do get into that arena. So, you know, for them, they've got stuff to do today. But they also say they want to enjoy the weather. And guess what? I think I do too. Let's ride. It's Caprinha season. And by that, I mean it's uh, not a cloud in the sky. That, that cloud right there, don't worry about it. It's not a real cloud. Uh, there is a cloud nine in the playoffs, and that much I know for certain. So, on media day, it's only proper that we talk to Cloud9 and hear what they've got going on before they jump into the playoff bracket. Sweet pods, t tell me, tell me, tell me. We, we, we really spoke yesterday, yes, we are. It's, Finally! It's <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing you into the fray. Okay, so you're with the guys 24-7. Yeah. You take some of the guys well, to I the... I think we should take it <laughs> No! <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. It's nicer out here anyway. Yeah, yeah. So you're with the team 24-7, right? From I think 25, 8, <laughs> it's around this. <laughs> so you're just adding time to it all. Yeah. How hard has this last kind of bit of time been for you guys? Because you're still smiling. You're the main one that's been happy and smiling. This is the only way to survive, you know? Yeah. If, if, if even I will be desperate and they will look at me and just think, what have we done this last couple of weeks? I think they will die already. But I mean, the last, the last just time we have or the any time? Because I think that we've got si such kind of schedule mm. all our career because we haven't got, we are not partners for ESL, we're not partners for Blast. We, every time we, we have green to get on a, such a high level. Yeah. So for us, it's a kind of custom that we spend all our weekends, all birthdays, mm -hmm. all everything on bootcamp. So I think it's a part of our job and we are proud to be this. For sure, it's, it's difficult, but. It's difficult, but you did it. That's the main yeah, thing. Yeah. You guys and did not it. Not only me. No, no. Seven you guys, the whole team, yeah. the whole team. <laughs> now, I want to ask you another thing. When we were talking back in Cato, you were telling me about your bobsleighing. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. Actually, it's a kind of long story, but to make it short, uh, in 2018, Gambit searching for the uh, manager who was already got an experience in the ordinary job and the sports. So I was a national team for bobsled. Uh, yeah, and I, and I won a lot of tournaments. <laughs> not, not, not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they, 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 they just hired me because I know a kind of way to success. So okay. Something like that. Successful mentality, right? Uh, yeah, mentality. The kind of when you have to be when you have to go to the peak before the tournaments, how to prepare yourself, how to get your mind calm or vice versa, very, so. You're an all-rounder, I love it. Now, there's one other question I have, because, you know, interns, 
I know he's not with us anymore, but you started taking him to the gym. Remember, I kept seeing you guys coming, and then he came out with the abs and everything. How much of that was you? How much of that was his motivation? Uh, I think from the we've we've got several uh, stages in our career when we're just trying to uh, go to the, not just to the gym, just to have a workout together. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. even uh, in one of my vlogs, <laughs> yeah, Nefani, Nefani, Nefani told that the best time in his career in Gambit was the time when we were practicing every day. So I come to the boot camps uh, in early in the morning around eight. Four, four times a week, and we have runs. We uh, work out in the um, football field, trying to make some calisthenics and, and heavyweights. So I think that the interest just f was following this kind of regime, and he made a lot of himself. That's why he was much more shredded than anybody uh, of the team. Okay. Yeah, but but I think, and the, Shira even told us mm. that when we working out a lot of the stress going away. So I think they, they use it not just to keep in fit or be in shape. They use it like a kind of anti-stress and they feel it. And that, this is the most important part because your brain will remember it. I agree 100%. We've yeah. just had a sales pitch for gym. Go to the gym, guys at home. Now I'm going to give you a couple of quick fire questions. Who is the least likely to go gym? Uh, Hobbit. <laughs> Hobbit. Ah, <laughs> Hobbit man, you got a wife and kids, you know, you need to put that time in, make sure everyone's, everyone's healthy, looking after the family. Okay, who is the one that you think will go to the gym the most and get the biggest? Uh, it's Exile, 100% yeah. sure. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's over motivated. Okay. He's, he, yeah, he's, he has some trouble with his body sculpture as me, okay. so we, we're easy to gain weight, but he's very motivated. He, <laughs> 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 you, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he's very motivated and he do it on his, himself. Mm -hmm doesn't matter where we are on the boot camp on any kind of tournament in any hotels he just going straight so i'm proud of him really it's it's really difficult with this schedule when yeah. you have to wake up early when you have practice and every day find the time to go there it's really thing to proud of now there's one guy <laughs> it happens all the time nafani thank you sweetie parts i got nafani with me here as well nafani you can talk <laughs> We've been talking about Jim. <laughs> he's coming, he's coming. Yeah. Just speak to him. Yeah, sorry, you're stuck with me. Hello. Bad time? Not bad, but not good. <laughs> I want to ask you something away from CS and everything else like that. Favorite anime? Mm, it's a hard one. Charlotte, I will say. Okay, I like it. And in terms of gym time, we're talking to Sweetie Pots. You a gym guy, not really a gym guy? Uh, it's a hard one. It depends on the time. I mean, last okay. time I was uh, in December, I guess, in gym, but I want to go again. Yeah, oh it's God, a long yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go after Rio, so. Okay. Now, we don't really get too much of the personality from the other members of your team, some of the ones that don't speak English. So tell me something uh, about Shiro that I may not know. Tell me something interesting about him. <laughs> it's a hard one. <laughs> Let me think. I mean,. Sure, he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. He really different if we talk uh, about how he communicating inside the game and outside okay. the game. It's like two different person, I will say. What's he like outside the game? I want to know that because I don't know him like that. So outside the game, he kind of funny guy, Ooh. and he's not shy at all. Yeah, what? yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's it. I mean, he could. You could ask any. CS player, mm -hmm. uh, which commun communicate with him, mm -hmm. he way not shy. Okay. Yeah, and he kind of cool guy. Okay, so we need to get Shiro practicing a bit more English and we see some more of his personality. Do you think he will? Actually, he understand a lot in English and in near future, I guess he could even speak English, I believe. So you're saying go try get English interview from Shiro? Uh, you could try at least. Sweetie Pots, English interview with Shiro, we need to make sure it happens. That's on you. He already can do it. He already can do it. He's very shy. Oh, okay. We, we, we're definitely, this is good information. Thank you, Nafani. We're going to go and fix this for sure. What last team member, Buster. He right now is a new person coming into the team. How is it for someone like him to come into the team that's been a core set of players for a long time? Mm, I mean, he's a cool guy. Mm -hmm. he, he, it's really nice to speak with him, so it's kind of nice to have a new face in our team. Yep. And yeah, that's it. I mean, not, not something like uh, new for us, let's say. We are Does he fit in? Hmm? Does he fit in? Does he feel like the right fit in terms yeah, of not in-game but out of game as well? I think so, I think so. I mean, it's really nice to communicate with him. Everyone enjoy it, so. 
oh, did. so yesterday, Hobbit, I felt very emotional with our interview, but you're smiling today. You even smiled a little bit on camera. You're normally the most happy one I see. Can we get happy Hobbit now we're in playoffs? Of course. Yeah. I'm going to swim now Ooh. on the beach. Uh, let's fuck it <laughs> and chill. <laughs> so swimming, chill time, yeah. and this is the day off mode for the first day off. Practice tomorrow? By the way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you asking that? <laughs> I ruined Hobbit's imagination and daydreams of what's going to happen. What else are you going to do today? Though? What else fun stuff? Swim only. Just swim? Yes, of course. Relax. You like the sea? I like everything here. Yeah? Yes. Hobbit moving to Brazilian team? Maybe. You're learning Portuguese? <laughs> <laughs> so I need to. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so any South American teams want to pick up Hobbit, teach him Portuguese, he will uh, eventually go there to retire. You could do like, okay, we need to get you, you've done CIS team, yeah, you've had that your whole career. Do a Portuguese team, retire here in the sun, live on all the money in the beach, be perfect, right? Win a couple more majors, no problem. Sounds good. Yeah. Nice life, you can imagine it. Would your wife agree? Do you think your wife would come here? For sure. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, bro. Wait, uh, Hobbit, as you are a dad, any more children would you want planned? Sorry? More children. Another child, another baby? Um, of course. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I don't get attacked by the fly. Do you like being a dad? I mean, it's amazing to have a yeah. child. It's a big motivation. Do you want a boy so you can teach them Counter-Strike? Um, sounds okay. But? But I think I will teach him like solo game. Oh, not a team game. Why, why solo game? Um, less stress. <laughs> <laughs> Less stress, more more prize money to win on his own. You're like, you be the best and you just take it all? You can do um, like faster if you're talented. Uh -huh. And it'll be your son, so he'll be super talented and be amazing at games, yeah? I'm pretty sure about that. I'm pretty sure too. Of course. I see would like a Counter-Strike playing son, and then I have him speak multiple languages and join any different team and just ride the wave, you know? Or we create a team. If you have a son, I have a son. Zonic has one. Glaive. I don't know, did Glaive have a boy or girl? I'm not sure. But there's enough players now where we can make a team, an international team. You want to join? So my daughter can do it. Your daughter can do it, right? Yeah, we join her on our team. You teach her? I will teach. Does she play any CS? She will. She will. Oh, oh. No, see, with my son, I was like, okay, you can play, but I'm not going to force you to do it. I want him to enjoy it. You agree? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you will play CS. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, computer games is the future. For sure, for sure. See, this man knows it is the future. Thank you very much, Hobbit. I'll let you go. Enjoy the beach, man. Enjoy the beach. Uh, one thing that you're going to do on the beach, maybe surf, bodyboarding, anything like that? No, I'm just going to sleep there. <laughs> <laughs> sleep and swim, that's what Hobbit's going to do. Enjoy yourself, man. Thank you so much. This right here? One of my trusted steeds, one of my better stallions, one of the better horses in the stable. Uh, but when it comes down to the big race that is finally finding yourself into the playoffs, it is now time for media so that we can tell you all about how they're feeling and everything that they've got going into this media day and then the playoffs thereafter. So James Banks is going to hop in a shuttle right now with Navi. How much do you like interviews, don't like interviews? Because your English is better than what you think it is. Um, actually, something I can understand, something yeah. can I say. But uh, not everything I can understand, but uh, it's, 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 I guess, fine. Did you see how the fans loved Electronic doing the English interview? Like, he got so many good comments, and he was, he told me, oh, no, no, I can't do it, I won't do it, but he did good. They loved it. Did you see it? Uh, yes, uh, actually, <laughs> I, see it. I saw it because, no, uh, Electronic uh, doesn't like give interview. No. <laughs> <laughs> but his English was good. Give him confidence, come on, but this is where you say, yes, my IGL has good English. Yes, my IGL <laughs> has good English. <laughs> Scripted, of course, that's the way we do it. Blade, you've always had good English though. You don't really, you don't care about doing interviews, stuff like that, you just talk. Well, I was learning English mm -hmm. in the school, and it was school of four. Uh, deeply 
studying like foreign languages. Oh. So studying French, English. So I lately, like after that, mm -hmm. I was m trying to focus more on updating it. Yep. Because I was not a good pupil. <laughs> <laughs> too much Counter Strike. Yeah. <laughs> Too much Counter Strike. Uh, so I was watching like movies, trying to translate them. Yep. Um, but still, I think you must have more uh, practice, mm -hmm. constant practice to to feel to feel comfortable. Because sometimes I I don't know the proper words like to to say. Yeah. So of course it's much easier in your own language. Of course, of course. Now, a bit. I've seen you spend more time with um, MPL. Nice to have him on the team. Good, good friend, good teammate. Yeah, he's nice. Uh, he's good. Uh, he learning fast, and uh, actually, I think uh, he's good. Yeah, <laughs> he's good. He's learning fast. What about outside of the game, though? Right, things you, you spend time together. I see a little Instagram photos together. You spend good amount of time. Uh, yeah, he's funny guy. Oh, funny, it's funny. Yes. Okay, okay. How funny? Explain why. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just born like this. Just born like this. How would you describe NPL blood? NPL? Mm -hmm. Nipple. People say this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I'll describe him like as, as a young guy, a young, young boy. Young boy, yeah. Yeah, he's a young boy. And he is. Uh, Actually, in the real life, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's like common things for a young, not mature guy, like he's uh, looking for into something what we are doing, like he's trying to learn something in the real life, like, like what we're eating, what we're yeah. uh, speaking about. And uh, But overall, he's a kind guy. Yes kind guy and uh, he doesn't stress a lot because of criticism mm -hmm. actually or he doesn't show it okay. but uh, yeah I like it now do you still enjoy traveling <laughs> yes <laughs> no true true yes okay. some players I know they're like oh, I don't want to travel so much anymore do you like to explore see the city um, actually I like to Traveling, I like to travel because it's uh, some new places, some new people. It's very nice to meet something new. Yeah, yeah definitely. What about the the bit streams? You stream a little bit. We're gonna get more streams from you. Do you want to stream more? <coughs> uh, sometimes I actually try to stream when I have time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice because people just write in something. I can show my game. Yep. and watch actually later some clips some highlights uh, and yeah it's good build yourself up and say yeah this is the power of bit what the power of bit power of bit <laughs> yeah uh, that's what we call the next highlight the power of bit tell navi we'll tell the manager sometimes uh, when people speak portuguese they say not beat but bitch <laughs> bitch you know well, you know <laughs> really yeah it's so yeah. weird like in lisboa we were <laughs> there, but I thought you know this because no. they say like this little T like like t, like t, I don't know yeah. it sounds like yeah, this yeah, yeah. and they're like hey bitch bitch hey bitch <laughs> all the time and he and he was like what okay. <laughs> so you thought they were just calling you bitch but here yes yeah but they say bitch but I think it depends on region and uh, here he was this fine like beat 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 mm -hmm. but only like one person out of ten can say this. <laughs> that's a fuck, that's so funny. On signing session, he's like, hey, bitch, here, sign here. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good story. Oh, dude, I don't, know. I don't know how I'd react to someone saying bitch all the time. But they call, um, they used to call Boomich Boombla. They still call him that. We say it correctly. But they don't call him Boom Bitch. Boom Bitch would be a better name. He was playing in a uh, the team, I think it was Kibifire, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was like Boombla and Balbna. <laughs> Another guy was, ba <laughs> strange also name, <laughs> like Boombla, Balbna. 
So it was strange uh, stre streaming, like balbna, bubna. <laughs> Not fun to say. Doesn't make our job any easier. It's a couple things that you need in life. A couple vital, important pieces to your everyday routine. Vitamin D, probably up there. So plenty of that out here to grab. But for a team like Vitality, grabbing a trophy is something that they definitely want to do here, especially in anticipation for the major. Um, so, why am I telling you about Vitality when we could just talk to them themselves? Let's check it out. Hello, boys. How are we doing? Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks very tired. Yeah, it's no days off, so oh, yeah, I'm really tired. Another day with media day. I'm so fucking heavy. You should have got to semis, mate. You should have had a day off. Yeah, but... Um, I was too tired the first day, so we lost the first game, so that's why. All these tired excuses, you should be used to this by now. Are you accepting this excuse? I will give him a message after, because he needs it. Oh. Oh. Uh, we, we probably won't bring the cameras yet, don't bring the cameras. No, no, no. Don't need camera. My girlfriend would see this, guys. <laughs> it's all fine, it's just a lie. None of this is real, none of this is happening. Sorry, you were saying to Freya on the desk, the capybaras, you like them? Yeah, of course, it's, it's beautiful, yeah, it's really good. Freya told me you can adopt them. You can adopt them and take them back with you. <laughs> Imagine in the plane, you have this on your seats. Oh, capybara, what are you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. You don't want a pet capybara? No, uh, mm, I prefer dogs. Okay, dogs, dogs. Will you come with me and Freya to go visit them, though? Would you like to come as well, Magis? We're going to go visit them and go see them in the wild? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of, of course. course. There we go. Now, did you guys see that... Um, hmm? I prefer Enma, actually. Yeah. Okay, ah. The, uh, <laughs> because, <laughs> okay, come on. No, no, come on. No, because every time we practice, we can hurt, <laughs> hurt this dog, so we make funny of it. So, in a clutch, you're all sat there, everything's really quiet, and then you just hear, bark, bark, magic, stop. Yeah, yeah. and we're gonna hurt the Emil, oh, then keep them. What does that mean? We're, we're gonna keep walking, like, moving forward with these guys. Now, did you, uh, did you see Simple has been playing CS with Neymar? Uh, who's playing CS? Who's now? Simple. Oh yeah, I saw this picture. Yeah, it's good. You have some loaded days. It's fine for him. Do you, do you reckon you should uh, you should play with Neymar as well? If he invites us, yeah, let's yeah. go. But uh, we, we don't have uh, day off, so I'm I'm, fe I'm Fury crafting. Do you think Neymar will buy Simple out from Navi and put him onto Furia? <laughs> imagine you can be, imagine this. It can be crazy actually, but nah, I don't think so. No, I don't no. Think so. Would you, would one of you go with Magis? Give Neymar try to buy you. Would you let him? I mean, it really depends on the salary. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about money. All about money. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me, how much, how much would it cost for Neymar to buy you? Oh. <sighs> oh this big boy. Yeah, I don't know. With my recent form, I guess it's uh, not that expensive. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What, okay, what price would you put on Magisk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but I don't know what. What is correct one? <laughs> Two million maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Two million, do you accept? No, I want to play with this guy. Okay, what's the package deal? How do we buy both of you together for Neymar? Come on, think of a price together. Probably 10 million in himself. Ooh. Of course. He's the best player in the world right now. Is, yeah. I'm sorry, but you are. <laughs> Expensive. Look, he doesn't like when I'm talking good about him. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> Zyber, you, <laughs> you are the funniest, Zyber, because even when you're the best player, when you're doing so well, you're just like, oh, I just play. I like my game. You, you got, you have, we show some of this confidence. I am the best, yeah? No, I never said that before the game. I'm just playing. Uh, I'm just, I want to have fun with my boys, so that's it. Yeah. You do always have fun, though. Even when you're losing, you're smiling. Uh, maybe not sometimes. Uh, sometimes you have sad loads, but yeah, I try my best for that. Does he ever rage? I've never seen him do like the table smash or, or really get angry. When I watch him, lose a round, okay, think next round, go. I mean, if you want to see the real side, we'll just play face with him. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because people are trolling in face it, and I hate that. <laughs> but you're not a face it player, right? You, you'd rather stay away from it. No, I like to play face it, but yeah. when it's too much troll, I'm like, ah, I want to, to play something. <laughs> so that's why we don't see you play too many games. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. You should go and troll back. You're better than them. Yeah, actually, I was a good troller, but yeah, yeah, but uh, he's. Uh, what, what's he do? What's he do? I mean, he's just having binds on Teamspeak with all kinds of uh, stuff. Oh really? Like, yeah, yeah. So it's, <laughs> I had what? so many, so many funny situations in <laughs> in practice where he's like putting binds and trolling us in game. No. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the truth is coming out. What? Uh, a, what? You want my are these, are these like sound binds or just yeah, text? sound binds like from people, uh, from, uh, people saying something incorrectly and stuff like that, so it's, it's funny. 
Oh, Zyra, I'm learning more. Fine. I have something on me. Yeah. I have two bands on for me. Yeah, what what are they? It just uh, because then he took uh, some uh, how can I say medals from medals some clip mm -hmm. and one is like because I, I said Nitsan Nitsan and I, he just put in this every time I play I was like Nitsan Nitsan and I can do it <laughs> yeah, this, this and I don't know with uh, Lota and with uh, because you have a pos position on uh, Infernal it's called put like it's a bad word in French yeah, but on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but for for him he cannot say that he say put 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 and I yeah. just put it there yeah. put it there yeah put it there so I have a bin for that put 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 <laughs> in the first official we played we called uh, we told him some words of pit yeah. and he was like I'm I it was uh, all the way around oh, he, yeah. we, we asked him to move it put but he thought we asked for pit oh so you put it the wrong yeah place. yeah, yeah. Took the wrong position and then I ended up dying I was like no no <laughs> <laughs> Pit. Yeah, but I don't know where. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm gonna move some. I'm like, no pit, bro. It's pit. <laughs> this was it a practice game or a real game? No, oh, a fishing game. game. Yeah, I think it was our first of, uh, Inferno game. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, actually, it was so funny. It was so funny. How many of those moments, because you guys come from, obviously, Danish guys are very used to speaking English as well. You were trying to avoid us on interviews for many times. Now you're better. But how is it in terms of how many mistakes like that you saw at the start where you just have different call outs and things? No, but in the beginning, of course, there was a lot more than there yeah. is now. I mean, now I feel like it's not that often it happens anymore because we are used to it. So, yeah, I think it's, it's fine now. But in the beginning, we had a lot of funny moments, that's for sure. Oh, man, that's the way. <laughs> is there another one? Come on, give me another one, Zyru. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, empty, <laughs> empty and tired, that's the thing. What, so what, what's next on me today? What are we doing next? I think we have interviews, one interview each. And makeup. Yeah. Oh, makeup. We need to be beautiful. You are beautiful. We told them, we told them. Why, why is he saying you need makeup? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> he can't escape. Uh, why do they need makeup? That your boys are not beautiful? I just it's, it's the morning, so we was on uh, on party yesterday night. So oh, no, no. party! Oh no, I I don't think you would ever let them party like this. No, I don't know. They was up at six a.m. and uh, we was on the gym at six thirty. So there was. I was at the gym at six thirty. You were not there. No, you are the liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was there. You can check my story. I was there one at one a.m. and then I went to bed. I was not up early. I didn't even get ready today properly. How much does he push you guys to do gym, fitness, health? Because I know he's he, he's a hard man. He is. But he's also been training his entire life, <laughs> so he's been uh, he's won a bronze medal at the Olympics, yep. and he, you know imagine training your entire life to only win a bronze medal at the Olympics. <laughs> I'm like, he spent in his entire life working for this, and then when you finally get there, you only get a bronze medal. A bronze medal, yeah. It's, uh, obviously, that's not very good to this guy. What did you say? I did, it was the best I can do, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it's not like um, you, he has all this backup. You're helping him now. This is why they're able to win trophies. Oh, no. You don't want too many trophies either, Matches. Oh, I think in the past. It, in, in this jersey? Yeah, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than nothing. It is. It's better than nothing. So what, what are you going to do to make them win? Or is it bronze as far as we're going when it comes to the major? We'll see uh, the major. I mean, they will be ready, hopefully. Yeah, watch yeah. out. He's going to say something now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's being very nice. He's being very nice. He, he slammed him and then he's like, yeah. okay, okay. He's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. And he, is, and he is making us go to the gym once in a while because, you know, some of us need it a little bit. Almost like you're running on a server, but not in real life. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good for us. How much gym time do you want them to do, Matthew? Basically, normally it's two by weeks. Oh, that's this easy. Yes, but I told them, told them. And guys, how? how, how? <laughs> I just have to make this sound voice. <laughs> two, two times a week, Zyru, that's easy. You can do that, no problem. Yeah, I can do that, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> I think we should put some fines in place, yeah? If they don't go at least two times a week, some salary deductions. No, we are not yet at that point because they are quite good on the server, so we can adapt sometimes. If the guys are uh, not showing up, yep. we can increase the, the time on the, on the gym. The strictness is going to come in. All right, boys, I'm going to let you get on with the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Bronze is very good. We do respect your bronze. I'm not as evil as him. <laughs> Okay, 
I was once the best in-game leader to ever touch the game, but I just gave up to allow other people to have a chance for it. And how would you rate the P90 to you? The P90 is the best gun in the world. It is how you dominate and rush your opponents down. My favorite tactic with that gun is rush B, and you will be the decoy and allow the rest of your team to dominate the opposition. Rush B don't stop, man. You put it to yeah. Thank you for joining me in the hot seat. It's all the best to have you. I'm in the hot seat because I'm hot. <laughs> Freya, um, how are you? <laughs> Excellent. You know, I've just had a, I've had Hobbit in here. I've yep. had Blade in here as well. Blade gave me some good insight into potential opponents. Blade told me my hair was terrible. You, you are going for like a bit of a floppy fringe today. It's a bit different. No gel. Not I had no time. I had to be ready for this stupid, <laughs> stupidly early call time, and I wanted to go gym last night, so I didn't get out of the gym till like two in the morning. The the, yeah, the grind. Exactly. Yeah, grind life, man. Um, I want to ask you, you were supposed to be at a different location, but someone was at the wrong location. Freya, Miss Perfect, she um, was at the hotel, looked around, she's like, oh, where is everyone? Why is no one here? And guess what? She should have been here. Freya, it's not like you. Come on, this is unprofessional. I can't believe you've done me dirty <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'm acting like walking in like, oh, it's totally fine. I literally walked into what used to be the single interview set. Yeah. Full boardroom meeting going Ooh. on. Just walked in yeah. thinking like, doo, doo, doo. just they looked at me and just <laughs> like, what is going on? Question in Portuguese. I don't speak Portuguese. Uh, so didn't know what they were saying. Just left. Then. You should have just gone, obrigado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Um... Got here in time though, man. So we're gonna act like it never happened. Oh, yeah. well, it did happen. Even if it, she friends, it doesn't happen. Sorry, Fred. <laughs> I just thought it was hilarious. I was like, Mrs. <laughs> always on time, never does anything wrong. I yeah, you you, just, you looked so prepared when I saw you, and you, then you just heard the wrong location. Yep, yeah, no, completely just didn't read the call sheet. That's so what's that's a lesson for everyone? Tell everyone what you learned from this experience. Read your damn WhatsApp messages <laughs> <laughs> and the call sheets and all the spreadsheets because it's on everything. Looking afterwards and going, this is a me issue. Now, I've, I've briefed Zyru on the capybaras. I've told him that you said we can adopt one. And he said about take two, oh, two, two. He said about taking on a plane, this would be funny. But he says he prefers dogs. So I think we're down for the capybara walk. So are you ready? Yeah, totally. But why is he comparing? It's not even a comparison there, man. Dogs, capybaras. Yeah. There's just no competition at all. Can we dress up like Richard Attenborough and go on this journey? Richard Attenborough. What's his name? <laughs> 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 well, what, is which one is it? Oh, there's it. Ah, there's ah. Okay. I didn't know that. Is it Thanks. Ah. Sorry, we're now just... Com really? And he's also a he's, um, wildlife man. Oh, okay. So he's not okay, not that I didn't get the right David. one. David Attenborough. I feel like you could do a very mean David Attenborough. Do a very hood David Attenborough. <laughs> we are in the habitat of the capybaras. Slow, chunky, <laughs> very cute. That, that's it. That's all we need. Look at their little faces. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. So Zyru's down, you're down. Yes. Sick. We can bring the camera. Um, I feel like we, I probably need to do some work now. Yeah, sorry, Freya. Speaking of Capybara man, yeah. he's here. Zyru, we're planning the Capybara adventure. Come, come, okay. So all, all three of us, all three of us are going on an excursion with a camera to see Capybaras. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you excited? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, will protect, I, I will protect you, I promise you, you'll be fine. If any of them come at us, I'll wrestle them. I'll stand behind you and go, 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 I would push you. <laughs> Is what, is, what, what if they don't like him? They attack him. We got to protect the best player. We have to make sure he's protected at all times. True, very true. Thank you for being his bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like bodyguard. <laughs> don't touch my Zaiwu. <laughs> don't touch him. <laughs> okay, I'll let you guys do some work, Zaiwu. I will see you later for some capybara hunting. Yeah. Hunting. Uh, capybara watching and cuddling. <laughs> not hunt. Look at his face. <laughs> We're not killing him. We're not doing anything bad. <laughs> How you doing, dude? Good and you. Oh no, I'm just reading your tweets. Uh, you you own one. How are you feeling? Which one? Uh, specifically the one with Nell. I yes. was like, damn, got him. Jesus. How are you feeling? You're feeling at that moment. You're like, yeah. Now sometimes uh, I feel I have to answer once a month, really roughly yeah. to people when they talk shit and when they know nothing. So I had to do it yesterday. Once a month is, yes. I think, I think acceptable. You know, once a month. Exactly. Uh, so what else have you been doing? You've got today for media. So what are you gonna do today? 
Well, right now we have media with Zawu. Uh, they had media before, but uh, I wasn't uh, there. So I, need, I didn't need it to, to be there, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have uh, some talk with the team for tomorrow's game, obviously, and some time off because we went from Copenhagen to here. No days off for one week and a half. Are you tired? A bit, yes. So we just need some time off uh, for ourselves and yeah. to get ready for a big game tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so the last time you were in Brazil versus now, what changes? Well, the team is really different, to be honest. Um, our 2022 was really disappointing. And uh, we tried to, to get much better for this year, work much better, work in a better way. And I think we showed that even though we didn't go too far in tournaments, we lost two quarters uh, all the time. But that's fine. I mean, um, we're improving. We reach playoff all the time. And uh, if I see improvement, I'm fine. So now we need to, to improve again and go at least to semi or final. But really, Dan, what is your favorite part of Brazil? Kipirinhas. <laughs> you got me there, I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting that of all answers. So you're a big fan of the Caprinas? Caprinas? Yes, I, I, it's decent, I would say. It'll catch up with you real fast, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. So maybe after media day, because it's beautiful out here, right? Yeah. yeah, it is, it is. But not today, no, 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 no. I'm not allowed today to, to drink any alcohol. <laughs> My manager is close to me, so uh, let's be honest. No, no, for, for next day, after the win, most likely. Hey, don't worry, no one can hear us. No one will see this. He, he can't hear us right now, it's fine. Uh, anyway, you guys gonna take it home this time or what? I hope so. I mean, uh, I'm not, uh, I don't know uh, the, the, the future, but um, I, I wish uh, we will go for at least for the tournament to get some confidence for the Paris Major. That's why, uh, that's why I, we, I want us to go far in this tournament. It's to gain more confidence for, 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 the, for the next future. But Dan, you're a titan. Or you were a titan. Yes. And, and now uh, you, you're driving the, the ship, right? Yes. Yeah. So do you, feel like, uh, do you feel like you've matured to where you are now? Of course, of course. I mean, because I remember meeting you in ESWC uh, probably 2015, maybe. Like, 14, I, don't know. I think, no? 14 in yeah. Paris, I think. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, I was 21 back then. Wow. Now, now I'm 30, so it's a bit, it's a bit different. Um, yeah. Obviously, when you start your career, you're not a. Uh, it's rare you're a game leader, you're a captain. I was just a soldier, a good soldier, trying to, to, to give everything for my team. And now, obviously, I have a different, uh, different, uh, different role in my, in, um, in my team. And yeah, of course, it's different, but I, I like it, so it's good. Do you think that when players get on lineups and they stay there for a while, they should begin to fall into leadership roles? Like, maybe not IGL, but maybe just, you know, like the team. I think uh, most of experienced players are like that, and it's needed to, to get to help the young players to, to, to get through, uh, like, uh, to give them confidence and a lot of things. I think a lot of players try to be a game leader, and it's not for everyone, but to be a human captain can be for a lot of people, most likely when you have a, a, lot, a big career behind you mm -hmm. and you have a lot of experience. So I think it's a needed role right now, obviously. Yeah. Well, uh, merci beaucoup. De nada. Wait, did you say de nada? Yes, in oh. Spanish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no habla española. Um, thank you. Many a team's trying to make it to that stage in the playoffs, and for this next team that we're going to talk to and catch up with, well, this is kind of like home, isn't it? We're talking about Furia. And just like this little flower right here, they're about to blossom. Well, if everything goes their way, of course, inside the Jeunesse. So, Furia, what's good? Yuri. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Question, straight away. Simple, was playing CS with Neymar. Yeah, yeah. I see. So we're going to buy him out and putting him to Furia. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. 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 Drop. Come here. Come on. Like the idea? We're saying Neymar was playing CS with Simple. Yeah, so should we bring him to Furia? Uh, maybe. maybe. We'll see soon. We'll see soon. <laughs> You're not worried. You'll, you'll keep your position. So who, who goes? Who leaves the team? I think we, we're going to buy the roster with six players. <laughs> oh, okay, so, so six players will just have simple, simple on the bench? No. I, uh, <laughs> I'll go to the bench for him. Oh, wow. Yeah. Drops like, okay, I'll just chill, we just watch. Play a few games, lift a trophy or two, you know, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's what I want. Now, yesterday, okay, you didn't win versus Cloud9. My mind says you did this so you would have the crowd for all days. Uh, bro, uh, yesterday, uh, we did a good game. I, I think we played better than, than them, but uh, I lost some important rounds, but now you can play in four days in the arena. Yeah. So it's three days of fury in the arena, this is yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. The, the fans like it, so <laughs> yeah, just gonna, gonna do the, our game and let's see. Now, I feel like at the moment, whoop, it's great. <laughs>
I don't want mosquitoes on me. Sorry, dead. <laughs> now, I will say, though, that you guys look in good shape. In Rio, do you feel like this time you can lift it? you feel like you can go further than you did before? Yeah, I think the feeling is the same, the, 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 the major. The, I think it was an amazing feeling. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's the same feeling, you know, uh, and we are, we are getting better and better. But we, we have on one, just one day to see what yeah. we, we, we did, uh, the mistakes. But yeah, we are in a good shape. There's a lot of work for it as well. Now, Drop, your performance has looked a lot better here at this event. You feel in better shape, you feel extra motivation. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I'm feeling confident uh, during the games, during uh, what we talk about to do. Yeah. And uh, we are doing it uh, with excellence, I would say. So, yeah. Uh, and I think uh, the, the question you asked, Yuri, uh, we are feeling the same, but now we know we are playing better CS. Uh, okay. So I think we have better chances now. So extra level of confidence. Yeah, sure. And, and OK, we, we talk about the crowd and what it can do for teams and players, right? For you guys, obviously, here, they're massively on your side. What is that feeling like? What's the change? What do you feel like? How can you explain it to me? Oh, uh, let me try. Maybe uh, <laughs> the, the, round we the rounds we lost, yeah. we don't care about them. And yeah. the, the rounds we won, the crowd just goes crazy. And yeah. it's, it's even better when we won a round and they were like cheering for us and rooting so, so hard. It's a, it's a really good uh, feeling, mm -hmm. especially when you do like individual plays uh, and they, okay, they just okay. go crazy. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's uh, amazing when, when it happens. So you make some like clutch play or pull off a few kills, right? And you just feel like, yeah, OK. Yeah, you just feel like you're a monster. Uh, no one can beat you. Oh, our family watch as well, so yeah. yeah, the feeling is great. So, and they got family here again today? No, my 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 father don't came, don't come, but my my girlfriend is here, so oh, okay. it's good as well. So you gotta lift the trophy for your woman? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun on media. Ah, yes, the great Rio de Janeiro. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a beautiful day to be inside playing Counter-Strike. You don't want to be in the sun. You know why? Because the sun is a deadly laser. Anyway, we're talking to Heroic here coming up real fast because they did find their way into the playoffs. And there's a team in Heroic and a couple guys in there. They can problem solve like no other. So let's hear what they got to say. Okay, this is just the normal run around bullshit lobby content that we love to do. You actually were interviewing your own teammates before Tessas. You enjoyed that. Yeah, uh, did I? Yeah, uh, I guess I did. <laughs> How are you guys feeling though? It's um, been a pretty, pretty fun event so far. Yeah, you know, you said you had a bumpy ride in this van with Navi. <laughs> <laughs> I think our tournament has been pretty bumpy as well, you know, playing with Exis, playing with Yabby, Yabby being ill, you know, just not being able to do the things we usually do. I'm going to question the Yabby being ill though, because Yabby being ill turned into a Super Saiyan performance yesterday, dude. Yeah, I think maybe Nip tried to push him because I think he was still feeling bad <laughs> and yeah, I think that that didn't turn out too good. How, how was it though when you were talking to him? Were you actually still worried that he could be ill? Uh, not yesterday that much. Yeah. Uh, I think everyone was pretty sure that he was going to play. Uh, it was more the day before that. Uh, that was extremely bad and he almost didn't talk and uh, yeah, then we knew it was there was a chance of it. Um, but yeah, actually we have something in the team when people are sick, they are almost playing better in some way. And also it happened in Katowice where Kasper was, like, he was calling extremely good and he's obviously always doing that, but he, he's always like feeling it. And if someone is sick, they're somehow turning up still. And Caden, you're very experienced, not just playing a sick, but you're breaking bones and stuff like that, you know, being in, <laughs> being in bad situations. Is this just, you like to play everything on hard mode, heroic hard mode? I think what we talked about in, in in Blast with the winning in Royal Arena was that you know when there's nothing when there's <laughs> we'll win you know when there's nothing we'll win until then we can manage to still do good but yeah. uh, I think it, you know it, it's difficult when there's always some obstacle along the way but you'll just have to try and conquer it and beat it but yeah I think you know um, Madsen said that uh, he was feeling confident that Yabby would play yesterday or like he would do good I was not a, entirely at the same. <laughs> Situation because like he was also feeling better the day before and then uh, in the middle of the game He just had yep. to leave uh, So, you know, I think you can't take it for granted that he would play and yeah It was just great that he did and I think the playoff spot is super deserved um, Maybe the bracket would have looked a bit different if Yabby would have been yeah. ready all the way But it is what it is now if you do beat Fury though The one thing that will happen again is they will be on your side You kind of like adopt their team after like, They hate you at the time but then when you played in the final, they were fully on your side. So maybe you can do that again? 
Yeah, well, I don't know if they were fully on our side. They had a little. There were some Jane fans too. <laughs> uh, just Jane. Yeah. yeah uh, but um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to be the same if we do it again to them. Uh, maybe it will change <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I, like I would understand them if they would be against us the next day game too. Yeah. But uh, no, no, don't be like that, you know. <laughs> don't be like that, you know. Them, the Brazilian fans, they love the passion. They love the courage. They love a good team atmosphere, team chemistry. Heroic brings that. Mm -hmm. If we beat Furia, it's a fair and square game. They will still be cheering for us for the next yeah. one. Okay. Now, I did see you were playing football with BT. Did you win? Yeah, I mean, oh, of course you got I, I actually smashed him pretty hard, to be honest. <laughs> but but the thing is, he, he's actually really good. And uh, we also played with him at the Major in Antwerp. Yep. And he knows some tricks. He's, oh, uh, he's okay. a good trickster, yeah. And uh, we played with uh, Liminia as well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a bit more questionable. He yeah, had yeah. he had his good moments. He had his bad moments. <laughs> He's but a bit of a wild guy. He is, but you know, we really like Liminia and Bit um, and Felipe. You know, they're always good guys, and whenever we meet them at the events, it's always with like smiles and hugs right. and stuff like this. And when you travel so much, you know, it's just like seeing those familiar faces who you enjoy being with it, it it means a lot so yeah we like the guys a lot yeah, that's what i love about those guys every time you see them friendly just happy and and they're they're like us right there you just enjoy being here they enjoy the whole ride of it all but are you guys still allowed to play a lot of football considering the injuries and stuff that happens testers have you been told yet guys uh, please can we be careful uh, yeah well we probably should consider it right uh, but nothing is holding us back for the still, moment still yeah still still risking it yeah, I would say. He, he, he lost his angle once and yeah. now he's like super scared of moving around when we play that's one thing ah. but but there was also a time where you know tensions go high nobody wants to lose <laughs> test is lost. And what was it you did? Uh, what did you do when you lost? Ah, oh, okay, okay, yes. Yeah, that was a bad. Okay, so it was like troll, and I, I have no idea how it turned out to be so bad. <laughs> but we were like on a football pitch, and then I lost, and I like punched like in the ground. But it was no. like very, it was like like this, right? It was what, so not that hard. not that hard. And then like uh, like my ligament was like. Um, stretched or something and was, uh, yeah yeah and uh, then there was like a bone fracture too what yes That's it. yes and then i had to play with fucking tape the whole uh, <laughs> tournament and then i came back home and found out like i had to go with a chin or something what is it called so this wasn't even football this was just you you losing it yeah. rage <laughs> rage pure yeah. rage do you know what? I'm surprised we've not had a player hit the desk, do something like that, right? We see a lot of desk slams, a lot of anger come out eventually, which is fine. It's a passionate game, but we've not had anyone just do it and then they can't play afterwards or something. It, it's probably going to sadly happen at some point. Be careful, players. Watch yourself. Don't hurt yourself. We need you to play your hands. Do you have insurance? Uh, yeah, but uh, oh. yeah. But uh, <laughs> don't think it's that. I don't know if it's like self, uh, like when it's self. Self inflicted insurance yeah. companies, please reach out to Heroic. It might be needed. Okay, one thing I want to touch on, Kaden, you said it when we were doing some of the content on the first media day, is that Exist could run for being like the Swedish president, yeah, because he's so lovable and likable. But he is so very controlled, he's so very calm. Tell me something that I wouldn't expect from Exist. There must be something you see. He can't be like this all the time. No, you know, there's a side that everyone sees yep. about Exist, which is uh, definitely true, calm and collected. I think when the tournament is done and we have a, a beer or two, oh. he uh, he loves to make like, uh, you know, the thing is, we are all speaking Danish yes. and he understands it because Swedish and Danish is kind of similar, mm -hmm. but he re always responds in English. Oh. But when he gets one or two beers down his uh, throat, he starts uh, making jokes in Swedish and it's <laughs> freaking hilarious, you know, it's just like a different vibe and the way he delivers him, he is really good at it. Um, so yeah, I think maybe that's something that people don't expect. Um, that I don't know. His, his jokes is just—it's really good. I can imagine him being quite like deadpan with it as well. You know, like yeah. that's how he would deliver yeah. it for sure. Now, in terms of what you could get out of existing doing something crazy, do you think you could ever shock him, surprise him? Uh, like surprise him with like what? I don't know, maybe we could try, we go back to the hotel, yeah, and we tell him, Yabby's really ill, you now have to play on the stage <laughs> against Furia, and just make sure he can't contact Yabby or see Yabby, and see if you can convince him into that. How do you think he would handle it? I mean, the, the thing is even, um, so Yabby was obviously feeling ill the first day when we had to play nine and big, yep. and uh, we were like, yeah, uh, really, you probably have to pack your gear, you know, in c just in case. Of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then the next day, when we had to play the Mongols, he literally said, guys, I, I don't, I'm not packing my gear today. And we're like, yes, yes, you're packing your gear. And he ended up having to use it. So yeah, but I think we can pull a lot of pranks on him. There is one prank 
we did an uh, an mainly tests at uh, Katowice oh, yeah. 2021. 20, mm-hmm. But uh, that story <laughs> that story is not gonna come. Up. Oh, you, you can't set me up for it and then not tell me, Tessis. Can we find out? Can we? Can I know? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to find that off camera and see what this was because we are arriving at the hotel. You you've been saved by the delivery of us back to the hotel, Tessis. But Caden, you you put out these little feelers and you just tease me with it, man. Me, me I'm I'm hurt. I understand, but I'll get I'll give it to you off cam and then the viewer says to it. Well, viewers, I will not tell you, but I will enjoy sure hearing it because Tess says I'm sure he's been up to some naughty stuff. Okay, what what do you do the interviews for? Uh well this series is called the lobby, right? So it's like um it's very relaxed and it's supposed to give us a conversation about anything. For example, what did you do last night? I lost the vitality last night. And then what? And then I thought uh, oh, that is a rough question. Oh, and then we went to eat. Mm-hmm. And then I went to Vitality Room to watch the demo with Spinks. Ah, oh. did you learn anything? Well, the guy's insane. And I watched the Inferno game and Zai was just talking. Just it's all over. No, Zai, I think, I think he's a little cheating. Yeah. But I think it's, it's OK. But holy shit, my Mirage highlight, did you see it? Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> the way you <that's laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was a, uh, you know, sometimes it just connects very well to the head. Yeah, sometimes that's what you need to do. And uh, it did look cool. I got to tell you, it looked awesome. Uh, so please keep doing But that. we got Nipple to interview now. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Is that over? Hello. Okay, so I would like to know who is your favorite singer? Singer? Hmm, probably Juicy World. Who? Juicy World, probably. Oh, Juice World, okay. Fair enough. What's, what's your favorite song? Uh, Robbery. Is it Juice World song? Yes. Okay. That's good, that's good. Um, I would also like to know one thing, okay? Yesterday you owned big. Mm. On RMR you go trio. Mm. Navi seems to get back into it. Do you feel like you... you like, what do you feel has changed since you joined? Uh, I don't know, actually. We you told me. You told played. me once time. Yeah, go on. We played uh, better when I joined, but now we played better. We play better because we because we destroy everyone. Blade secrets, right? Yeah. Yeah, blade secrets. Can you leak anything about them? Can you leak anything about Navi? Oh, tell us, tell us. Okay, tell us. Blade favorite strat on Mirage. Rush B. <laughs> you never do this though. You never rush B. Electronic don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Uh, sad. Sad. Sad? Yeah, going home. <laughs> but, okay, I looked at Twister's tweet, right? And obviously he was saying, oh, it's kind of better to now just be done and then actually have some rest. You guys have been on a crazy grind. You're still sad, obviously, about leaving the tournament, but you're going to get some well-deserved rest? I will have a few more days off than uh, normally, for yep. sure. Um, and the last chance qualifier, we had to stay an extra week in Copenhagen. So uh, that just adds another road on the week for us. Yeah. Um, and obviously a very, very, very stressful one. One of the most stressful weeks I've ever had in my life, baby. Oh, wow. So um, yeah, that was extremely tough for everybody in the team. Yeah. How are you going to de-stress? What's the, the, the ROPS routine to get less stress? Um, just uh, stick to it, you know, your routine, your normal things. Meet some family at home. Mm-hmm. Um, just do your daily things and try to forget whatever happened and just look at the positives and right, if you have a chance at the major and we'll take that. That's what it's all about for sure. Now, I want to ask you, Simple was playing CS with Neymar. I'm theory crafting. Neymar, all this money, buy Simple, puts him to Furia. Good move? Good move. Good move. I think anything that involves Neymar is you know, good for CS. <laughs> good for CS, so whatever happens, I think it's good for uh, the game. Ooh, okay, would you accept a buyout from Neymar for you personally? Um, d- depends, it depends. Not, I can't just go for money, you know, it has to make oh. sense. It has to make oh. sense. In the end. So most players have been like, so I was talking to Magisk and uh, Zyru, they were trying to up their price, yeah, it becomes big money. So you're fine with like, no, it has to be the right decision for my career. No, I mean, it's a combination of both, you know, if he's going to tell me like, yeah, you're going to be set for life, then you, you, know, you might as well take it, but um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm still uh, quite, quite young in my career. You're very young. Yeah, so I have, I have some things still to accomplish, even though we've achieved a lot the past year, so yeah, um, yeah just looking forward. 
Okay, what's the number name I would have to give you for you to go? Five mil, 10 mil? Uh, I think 10 is a pretty sweet spot. <laughs> there you go, Neymar. If you want Rob's 10 mil, he's still young. Look, look at this, peak performance. This is what it looks like. I'm trying to sell Rob's right now. Major winner. Fury don't have a major. You see, this is how it can all work for you, man. Rob's, <laughs> thank you very much, man. You. Have a safe trip home. We'll see you soon. Hedrick, Hedrick, hey, Hedrick. How are you? I'm good. You're still smiling, you're still happy. I like the new, you got fresh, you got this done here. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, just uh, wanted to be more ready for summer. Oh, okay. Now, sadly, you guys came close, but you couldn't make it, right? But Nip's still improving. But I want to talk about just how you're feeling in general about your journey of going to an English speaking team and what you've been able to do. You had some good numbers this event, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that uh, I managed the last couple of events. Uh, improve my individual level of yeah. performance and I'm happy about it but uh, I still need to, to work a lot uh, on my communication in the, uh, the first place because like yeah, it's still like sometimes hard to understand a lot so yeah I mean uh, we obviously improving we just lost to two top five teams uh, in this tournament mm -hmm. Navi who's who has really good uh, form right now they have sick performance uh, as individuals also and uh, heroics, they just destroyed us. I mean, yeah, that was tough. Yeah, yeah. That was tough. Hopefully, uh, we'll do better on the major and better now than on, on the major, right? <laughs> That's what it's about. Yeah. What have you been doing though in Rio so far? Because we spoke at the very beginning, right on the first media day. You wanted to go to the beach a bit. You want to do some things. Now you've got some time. So what's the plans? What are you doing? Yeah, we'll go now to the starter. No. Oh, the Christ of Demons. Yes, yeah, yes. Nice. No one's invited me. I have not gone yet. Can I come? <laughs> yeah, you can. See, look at that. Thank you, Hedrick. I'm going. All right, we're done. We're done. No, where, where else are you going? What other plans you got? Uh, maybe to swim because we didn't swim yet. Ah, uh, yeah, you need to. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, today evening we have flight. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, he's got two things to do quickly before the flight and then you're off, but get some time at home, you know, yeah. relax a bit. Yeah, but then we have boot camp uh, before the major. Busy, busy. Well, I'll let you get going. Enjoy yourself. Hedrick, thank you so much, man. See you again.